As you might know, a paper displays are very useful for specific projects that require low power consumption, or if you don't want the display to generate light, which both are important characteristics that I want for my YouTube subscriber counter that I'm making. But it wasn't easy to figure out how to use the display. To make things easier for you, I'll go through my example sketch so you can use it as a template for your projects. First, choose your board. Right now I'm using the Arduino Nano, but this example sketch also works with other boards like the ESP8266 and the ESP32. Second, select your display. Many displays are only compatible with 33 volts devices, so I recommend to buy one that is also compatible with 5 volts. I bought this one that does support 5 volts logic. If your display doesn't support 5 volts and you want to connect to Arduino, then you need to put a lever converter between Arduino and the display. Or simply use a board like the ESP8266 or the ESP32 that uses 3.3 volts logic. My sketch uses two libraries that you need to install. Here are the links so you can install them. Here I put a link to a tool called image to lcd that you need to convert images to C arrays so we can print them on the display. I'll show you later how to use it. Here included libraries. Here you can select your display and your board. Right now I'm using Arduino Nano, so it's in this area and you select the display from this list mine is over here this one all this is for other boards here include the fonts in this part we include the images that we're going to use in this case I have three images that are in the same folder I'll let her show you how to make images. There's a variable, so I can use it later. In the setup, we start the display, set rotation to zero. This is not necessary because by default it's zero, but anyway, it's here. Same for this. And now in the loop, we increase the variable. We convert the variable so we have the right alignment. This is the section for the demo screen one. In this area, we're going to set everything in that screen. We first clear the display. We set the color of the text. We set the font. We set the position and we print the text. And here we draw a bunch of shapes and you can see the format in the comments. Here we print the verbal. And here the other variable as a string with right alignment. Finish with screen one. In the second screen, we do basically the same with clearing the display. In this part, we print an image. Here they put the position. Here the name of the image that is right here. Here. It's important to also put the dimensions of the image and the color. We print the other image that is right here. And after that, we print a text. I better show you how to include your own image. I have this one but you have to open the image to LCD program. Send everything here. Always click reload every time you change something. Looks good, save.
always save as a point .h file. Here's a file. It doesn't give you the size of the image, but you can see it here. Obviously it's 100 right now. So we can close this now. So I need it over here. We need to reload Arduino. Now you can see in here. What you need is to add this in the beginning. So it doesn't use a RAM memory. Also, I usually write the size of the image. And the screen number two. Name of the image, the position, let's say, is 350, 190. The size is 100 and 100. The color we can set it to red. And I forgot to include the image in the beginning here. The file actually is called just heart. So that's what I need to add. There you go, it should work, let's see. This kind of display is currently very susceptible to screen burning. That's why it fills the screen black and white a few times every time we want to refresh the display. But even that doesn't seem to be enough. For that reason, I include at the end of my sketch a section where you can cycle the screen black and white a few times. I'm hoping that in the future we can get better panels that don't have such problems, but for now, this is what we have. I suppose that's everything you need, and remember that all the relevant links are on the description. And I would like to thank my patrons, especially Stefan, and the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. If you need to order a custom PCB, check them out. Let me know if you have a problem with my sketch and see you on the next video. Bye bye.